Hello everybody, welcome to another Adobe Lightroom 5 tutorial. So today I'll be running you through a, the very basic touch-up procedures for uh, touching up a photo in Lightroom. Alright, so today I'm going to be touching up this photo here. Now uh, I shot this photo in RAW on a Canon EOS 70D. So uh, right now I'm going to create a virtual copy to edit. So later I can show you what it's like before um, editing. Alright, so I've turned the contrast all the way down because um, the way Lightroom processes raw files is uh, it, it has a lot of contrast to them. So you uh, lose a lot of details straight off the bat. All right, so I like to work with nice flat looking files. All right, so right now, obviously the contrast is a bit too low on this photo. All right, so uh, before I begin editing, I just want to say today, this is not an advanced um, Lightroom editing tutorial. This is just um, teaching you the very basics of how to actually um, um, edit a photo in Adobe Lightroom. Now there's no one way to edit a photo. Now um, what I'm what I'm going to teach you today is just demonstrating how I would edit this photo and you will have to uh, make do as you go along when you're editing photos because there's no uh, same way to edit two photos. So every single photo is unique and alright so why bother editing a photo you may ask. Can't you just do it all straight in camera? So sometimes uh, as a photographer before you take a photo you will usually visualize the shot that you want to get. So uh, there's al already a visualization of the shot you want in mind but sometimes the camera can't really um, take the photo as you had in mind. Alright so the process of editing takes you one step closer to that photo you have visualized in your mind prior to taking the photo. Alright so let's get started. Now the photo looks a little bit dark to me so I will bring up the exposure tad bit. Alright so now I want to add some contrast by crushing the blacks. Now if I hit alternate while uh, playing with the blacks slider now it will show up the bits that are clipped. Alright so that looks pretty good. So now I want to bring up some highlights. So I want to clip some whites as well. All right, so that looks nice and contrasty there. All right. Now the high is a little bit harsh, so I'll bring some of them down. In fact, I'll bring the highlights all the way down and I'll just use the whites to give me those nice white spots I want for contrast. Alright, the color temperature seems spot on for this one. So, um, too many blacks. Bring down some shadows. So now I will jack up the vibrance since uh, I want to. I really want to bring out the pink color of the flowers on the uh, green leaves. So I'll bring up the vibrance saturation just a tad bit. Alright, so now going down, we're at the HSL tab. So, now I want to um, exaggerate the pinks a bit, so I will bring up the saturation for the magentas. Now, go, don't go too far, if not, it will just look uh, fake. I'll bring up the purples just a bit. Now, the blue sky is good, however, the sky is getting a little too saturated and it could be a little distracting to my nice pink flowers. So, I'll bring down the saturation of the blues just a bit. All right, so now it's looking quite good. Um, the mid-tones look a little bit dark, so I'll bring up the mid-tones just a little bit. On the tone curve, nice, I'll push down the shadows. All right. All right, now you can see there are some really dark leaves here. So um, these leaves are really making the photo look kind of gloomy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the adjustment brush tool. I'm going to bring it by about 0 0.8 stops and I'll set a nice uh, feather to it. And I run a relatively big brush size. Just gently dab dark bits. Just a few minor clicks. To add. I want a rather high key photo for this. I don't want, to, uh, I don't want my photo to be too low key here. So just dab. Um, the bits that you want to brighten up, right? Not bad. So this bit here is a little distracting. So I'll get the eraser and erase sky bits here. All right, and it's looking rather good. So now I can go down, close this. 
I can sharpen my photos. So I'll bring up the sharpening amount by quite a generous amount. Uh, I'll bring up the radius to about 1.5. Set the masking. I want to sharpen the high contrast areas. There is looking nice and sharp. I shot this at ISO 100, so I won't bother with noise uh, reduction. Um, does the profile correction offer anything much? Um, nope, I'd rather have it off and just correct some pin cushion. So now I want to apply some vignetting to my photos. Alright, I want to take down the midpoint a bit, feather. And I want to retain some more highlights here. All right, so now the photo is looking pretty good. So I guess uh, my job here is done on editing this photo. So let's see what it looks like before editing after. So I'll actually put it on select candidate mode. Right, so editing a photo, just any photo, just editing it a bit actually comes quite a long way into achieving the photo that you uh, really want it to be. So you can see I've brought up the colors and the flowers here. I've added a nice vignette to give it a nice soft feel, added a bit more contrast to the photo so it looks more contrasty. Looks like a nice joyful day, alright? So thank you very much for watching. So if you have any questions and comments or if you think I did anything wrong, uh, how you would have edited this photo that I haven't done or something that I've done that you really wouldn't do to a photo like this. So just let me know in the comment section. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.